I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I pick trailers to look at for very frivolous reasons. This one is because I'm, I'm reasonably sure, I could be completely wrong, but I'm reasonably sure that the voice actor who's doing the narration is the voice actor who does Joshua Graham from Fallout New Vegas. Because that guy had a very, uh, I don't know, he had a very, very distinct voice to me. And this guy either sounds a lot like him or it is him. This is a first person driving survival simulator. Assume the role of a wilderness firefighter on a mission gone wrong. Drive, explore, and survive with your snowcat vehicle in an icy environment with a hostile military faction ever present on your trail. Well, let's have a look. I'm Henry Beauchamp, wilderness firefighter. This beautiful ATV is my trusty beast. She may be rough around the edges, but damn, I love her. Sounds so much like I got this freak weather phenomena with minus 30 in mid March, a cold wave shutting down the whole province. This is where we step in to provide to those in need to evac those most vulnerable. <laughs> now, the maker of this game does do a lot of sim games, including Car Mechanic Simulator. So, I feel like they're really really kind of steering into that, no pun intended. This is Henry. Finally patched up, but I'm not sure how much longer it'll hold. My arrival may still be delayed. Over. Acknowledged. We can't wait any longer and are moving on. If you hurry up, we'll meet at the next checkpoint. Out. So this has a planned release date of 2025. Previous games, there's lots. Like, there's so so many if you just look up a uh, game formatic essay on steam you'll see that there's tons and tons of mo mostly simulation type games so this looks like it's firmly within their wheelhouse which is a good sign as far as platforms it looks like this is going to be pc only as far as i could find anyway but it, it definitely like i said it seems to steer into the sim side of things now they did mention province and this is actually set in quebec which is interesting when you learn more about this game. You take on the role of Henry, a wilderness firefighter and a member of a rescue expedition in the northern Quebec region. You and your team were meant to provide supplies and evacuate the population in an area beset by a sudden weather crisis and a subsequent rapid drop in temperature. However, you have become separated from the rest of the expedition and now you're forced to fight for your survival in an extreme environment, surrounded by hostile fauna, unknown forces, and military faction determined to stop you at all costs. In Canada? Okay. I'm interested to learn more. Utilizing the environment to your advantage becomes paramount. This might involve timing your movements with weather conditions to mask your tracks or noise. Use the natural terrain to hide your approach or retreat. Employ diversionary tactics to mislead pursuers. Worst comes to worst, stand your ground and fight your way out. Now we do see you getting attacked by wolves, but I don't really know how you would defend yourself. I don't see anything as far as like weapons that you would use, no um, flares, pistols, knives, crowbars, nothing. So that's something I would like to know more about. Step into refining your snowcat and be always prepared on a journey through the freezing wilderness. It serves as your only refuge, providing warmth and safety amidst the harsh environment. Repair, enhance, and customize it to suit your needs as you navigate through the unforgiving terrain. And honestly, I would play this game if this all it was, was you drive around in an ATV and you deliver supplies to camps and, and people in the wilderness. It just seems like it'd be kind of fun to do that and just drive on the terrain with a, with a tracked ATV and repair and maintain your vehicle like he's doing here. And, uh, I don't really want to fight dogs or wolves or anything, but now trailer does show that you have like flares as well. And that may be one of the methods that you use to survive. The game encourages creative problem solving and strategic planning. So if you're, uh, if you play games kind of haphazardly like I do, <laughs> I don't know if this would be for you. You may need to observe patrol patterns to find the safest route, make use of snow drifts and dense forests to cover or for cover, set distractions and traps or even backtrack to avoid encounters. The risk of confrontation is ever present, pushing you to use the sparse resources and tools at your disposal in innovative ways to remain undetected. There's almost like a, almost like a horror element to this. 
The fact that confrontation's ever present, you can turn around and all of a sudden there's wolves ready to leap at you. Deep survival mechanics, resource management, and vehicle maintenance are crucial to withstand the extreme conditions. Intriguing story, the protagonist's journey is driven by personal stakes, adding layers of depth to the survival experience, and confronting Caesar, who threw him off the cliff at Hoover Dam after failing to defeat the NCR. Sorry, that was a different game. My bad. If you don't, if you don't get the reference, play Fallout New Vegas and thank me later. Dynamic weather and terrain. Face the unpredictability of weather and landscapes that test your limits with every mile traversed. Use stealth as strategy. Navigate around a hostile military presence with tactics that emphasize stealth over confrontation. Realistic simulation. The feel of piloting a heavy-duty snow vehicle through challenging conditions is rendered with an attention to detail, offering an authentic survival experience. And I don't doubt that they'll probably get the vehicle side of things right. Now, as far as system requirements go, it's not quite potato. You will need something fairly, probably something mid-range from maybe a few years ago. It doesn't require a bleeding edge machine, but not a slouch either, not a potato. So again, release date is 2025, no demo available for it, but who knows, we might see one in the future. It does show you getting out of the truck, hopefully it gets a second trailer to see a little bit more. Yeah, I hope so, I really do. I've played the crap out of Car Mechanic Simulator, so that is one of the reasons I'm sure that they're going to get the car side of things right. But I wonder, I wonder to what extent they're going to punish you for screwing up, because in Car Mechanic Sim, if you take out a rad without draining the fluid, you have to pay for it. And, like, I wonder if it's going to be game over if you do something that really just kind of screws you over. I'd be interested to see if they do that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, why don't we move on to the next one? The next one is uh, <laughs> one hell of a change of pace. It is Gravelord. So let's check out this guy. <laughs> 